How you doing out there, all you bat cave dwellers? Unknown bass player coming at you. In an earlier video, I showed you how I put the weights and stuff on the braces and blocked them down. Well, I've taken all the weights off. This is how she turned out. They're all down. They're all sealed. Turned out pretty decent. And I was saying, talking about a piece I was going to put in here to support it. These are old 100% cotton, real thin gloves. And I cut the little strips out of it, put them in the glue, and then just put them down over this brace. That's just that when that, that's dry, that's just harder and I'll get out. So that'll help support it. I took them off of the body. Now, we had that notched out. So this top should just snap right back into there, just like it, like it, I'll put that down. that were cut out for them. I don't know if I can pick it up to where you can see it. But just fit in there perfectly. All down. Places that we notched. All them braces fit right in there. So now I have to put some wing braces on it. I have a diagram that I and I have an old guitar that I'll sh I'll just get that and show you. Okay, I'm back. I went to an auction one time where a local music store was going out of business. Picked up a couple items. And I bought this uh, display. Shows you how the back bracing goes on. Well, not how it goes on, but how it's laid out. There's the tail block, the neck block, this is all the back bracing. This would be where the sides would fall into here. This is actually how this instrument's made, in my understanding. The sides would fit into here. This is the front. This is the bridge plate that I'm going to put on here next on the top. These are all the little wing braces. This is the X brace that we just put on. Now I will I will not put all these in here. They have the popsicle brace that's crooked. I put mine straight across. But this is how this instrument is actually made. And it's my understanding that these sides and the backs are all tooled out on the, some kind of CNC computer and they fit in there perfectly and they're glued. So what I, I made my own pattern that I kind of laid out with these pin marks in it. And then I drew the lines in there to put the bracing in. Simply done if you want to do one yourself, get on the computer, nothing to it. That's where the bridge is going to go. Right underneath of it is where that bridge plate would be for extra support. So I'm going to get back. This gets set up and I'll show you how I'm going to put that in there. Okay, I got her set up and getting ready to put the bridge plate on. And this is where the bridge plate is going to lie right here. What I did was I already cut the bridge plate. 120,000 thick, it's cut out of a piece of mahogany. 
So, sometimes I'll use maple. Maple's good. I think the mahogany's good. And I'll glue that right in there. So when I set the bridge, the bridge will go over this on the top. I'll drill down through for the strings. And when the buttons on the strings come through with the pins, they'll come through down here through this second piece of mahogany, which will support it. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Like I said, I just use old stuff I have found around here to do this. I'm not a professional. I just enjoy doing it. Well, with the top laid out, I'll take some glue. And that was set right in there. Like so. Now put some weight on it. Leave it set. Be as good as new. And it's going to go in this way. So the glue is going to go here. And I will glue it on the side right to the braces also. I don't know if I should or not, but I do. I figure it'll help support the braces and keep them maybe from breaking loose. I don't know. Just my theory. So I'll put the glue on the side. Trying to let her set up a little bit, get a little tacky. I'm going to give it just a second. For it to set up some. While it's doing that, I'm going to clean out the brush. Buddy Tom goes say I'm just so damn tight I don't want to buy a new paintbrush, but I'm just being conservative. Going green. Okay, now I'll take this, turn it around, put it in there where she goes. I got these three little blocks I have cut. I want to go back in the corner here, reach down all the way around. These two will come on the ends. Put that piece of wood right on top of it. It's right where it should be. You've seen this monster before. There she is. I'll leave that set. Dry up. Be back with the next step. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. When I had the body on there, I also traced around it. I forgot to film that or explain it. But I'll take the bandsaw and trim that down be much easier to work with from here on out.